Our industry partner, Inala Wangara, serves the largest urban, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander community in southeast Queensland, who deliver multiple services, ranging from a Murray court to a football club. So Inala Wangara is a community controlled organisation, an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander owned, staffed, managed, run. At the turn of the 21st century, Indigenous representation within the Australian government was systematically marginalised and Indigenous community-controlled organisations were defunded. Indigenous-specific services were absorbed into the mainstream social services sector. However, the 2019 Australian Community Sector Survey reveals that mainstream service providers are not meeting the increasing needs of Aboriginal and or Torres Strait Islander peoples and communities. Anala Wangara seek to stabilise their operational infrastructure. The administrative burden of individual grant applications is large for a multi-service community organisation. Anala Wangara asked us to explore the current landscape they operate within. In the literature, there's a clear gap in connecting conceptual understandings, political agendas and lived realities. Our research takes place at this intersection. In our research, Anala Wangara operates as a case study for Indigenous community-controlled organisations. As a third party, we were able to engage with the relational network surrounding Anala Wangara. We brought together voices to understand contemporary perceptions of Indigenous self-determination and community control. We spoke to these four stakeholder groups. Indigenous organisations, non-Indigenous organisations, political representatives and government representatives. We conducted 11 semi-structured interviews, speaking to 19 participants. Firstly, what level of political, intellectual and practical investment is there for Indigenous community-controlled organisations as a model of service delivery? And secondly, what opportunities and constraints exist for Nala Wangara within the current political and practical context? The diverse perspectives of participants did not reflect a discordant understanding of the social services sector. Our findings focused on the commonalities to understand the complex landscape of Anala Wangara's lived experience. Therefore, we did not separate the analysis of our findings by stakeholder group. Our key finding is this paradox. Participants advocated for Indigenous community-controlled organisations as best practice, but they also emphasise that current policy frameworks are inflexible. This dichotomy problematises Indigenous community-controlled organisations rather than the paternalistic approaches of government. Individual participants were unaware of the collective articulation of this paradox. Therefore, participants' key recommendations to Anala Wangara were to change their organisation to fit a mainstream agenda. Both the literature and our findings emphasise the unidirectional power relations between government and community organisations. The government perpetuates the cycle of control through accountability measures and mainstream funding frameworks. Henman names this the performance state. This dynamic is maintained through the normalisation of accountability to government, which creates a landscape of competition among service providers. In extension, this cycle disconnects dialogue and advocacy between communities, organisations and governments. The recent policy shifts reveal a deliberate, paternalistic approach towards contemporary Indigenous affairs policy. These mechanisms of control are not new. Anala Wangara's resilience as an Indigenous community-controlled organisation for almost two decades confronts the continuing race relations reinforced by the state. As a site of self-determination, Anala Wangara exercise their sovereignty to deliver community-determined services. They are a site of resistance. By centralising Anala Wangara, our research consciously connects the different voices within this relational landscape. To address this paradox, our research acts to provide a collective understanding between service providers and government. In order for advocacy and change to occur, Agents must work together and consciously push back on the control mechanisms reinforced by the current policy framework. 